the year saw a marked uh, improvement in the economic conditions globally. Uh, this was supported very much by improved uh, liquidity in the financial markets, which uh, helped to strengthen the balance sheets and also therefore helped, helped to uh, support economic activity. The uh, negative side was uh, that this also uh, causes an upward pressure in, emerging, in price levels in the emerging markets and also on raw material prices. And this, in combination with the uh, unrest in the euro area, is causing uncertainties for 2011. NIB was uh, uh, affected by the uh, uh, high liquidity uh, in combination with uh, low investments, which of course as such reduced the immediate demand for loans uh, among our customers. Uh, we were also affected in the sense that uh, during the, the previous years we had faced a very high demand we had therefore to cut back uh, on, our dis on our grants of loans and signings in order to uh, uh, remain without the limitations set by our capital. Uh, and that had reduced what we call the pipeline of new loans. And we were therefore in the year of 2011 very much in a process of rebuilding our pipeline of new loans. Uh, but of course we have identified uh, environment, energy, including renewable energy, transport and logistics, and innovation because of many reasons related to uh, both the, uh, the economic policy and to the qualifications of NIB. Uh, first, this is something which figures very high uh, on the economic policy agenda. Uh, second, uh, these, are these are areas which require long-term finance, which of course the speciality of NIB. Third, these are typically cross-country regional uh, projects and fourth they also very uh, often involve public-private partnerships. But uh, as a result of this uh, mandate what we call mandate fulfillment is uh, typically more easily achieved within these sectors. Uh, but they do not, this does not exclude other sectors if they also fulfill our requirements. The additional capital uh, that we received in 2010 was not much reflected in our activities during 2010. Uh, and uh, they, the additional capital with, will not make for any jump in our activities. But additional capital will uh, allow us to continue the expansion uh, at around 2.2, 2.3 billion a year, uh, which is very much in line with what we did during 2008 and 2009. And uh, it will in this way enable uh, NIB to make a sizable contribution to uh, uh, financing in uh, the membership area also in the coming years. The increased uh, attention on mandate will not make for any major changes in our activities, even if we think it's going to be no, uh, noticed in some respects. Uh, mind you that we have already achieved a very high mandate compliance in our activities uh, at this stage. And also, we might be asking perhaps a little bit more questions than we did previously. But we are not going to ask anything which not a mindful investor would have an uh, on-the-shelf answer to. I would say that the economic uh, environment is highly uncertain for 2011. On the one hand, we see good growth uh, in the global economy. On the other hand, we see some uncertainties which form some clouds uh, on the sky. Uh, but we are well prepared. Uh, for 2011 and we think that we are going to be able to make a good contribution to our borrowers in particular in terms of providing long-term capital which we see is going to be somewhat of a scarcity in the coming years.